Hello everyone and thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mila. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video. So today I'm going to make you a updated Thierry Mugler perfume collection. Thierry Mugler is my favorite brand when it comes to perfumes and I have purchased quite a few since my last video. And uh, there will be some surprises because I've changed my mind on quite a lot of Thierry Mugler fragrances and I'm gonna let you know all about it. There is also like a moisturizer, a powder, you're gonna see everything. I am just gonna start randomly, okay? So, first I'm gonna start by Angel Muse. This is by far uh, like my favorite per recent perfume discovery. It literally smells like Nutella with some no flowery note, which is patchouli, but is not as strong as in the original Angel. So I seriously would have never bought anything that has written Angel on it. I, since years, and if you follow me, you must know that I always despised Angel but I will come in it in a minute. But uh, I actually, in the beginning when I bought it, people were telling me uh, in my comments that no, it's not like Angel. I still feel like it's like Angel. It still smells like Angel. It's more of a kind of, uh, I would say, accessible version of Angel. And yeah, that's all I have to say. It's a very, very sweet gourmand perfume with but not immature gourmand. It doesn't just smell like candy. It smells like candy, but sophisticated kind of way. Okay, so done with that. Then, okay guys, I always said I hated Angel. And now, I own Angel. My fiance bought it for me. Is it my favorite perfume on the whole planet? No, it's not. But uh, when I bought Angel Muse, uh, I was really, really bothered by the angel that I could smell in it. But after I started liking Angel Muse so much that I was kind of like interested in, to, uh, in the original angel, which I sprayed on myself in a shop. And seriously, I just think that everything Thierry Mugler does perfume-wise is just great. Even if like you don't love it, you kind of like still have an original fragrance. I would really highly consider to invest in a Thierry Mugler fra fragrance if you want something original. Okay, so this to me compared to Angel Muse is like you would compare milk chocolate with black chocolate. This is also sweet gourmand, but the patchouli note to me, honestly, I would rather it to be less strong I am definitely not an angel girl, I'm more of an alien girl, but uh, I still enjoy wearing it, strangely. I hated it for years and now I've changed my mind and a lot of people are probably like, what the fuck, you always said you hated it, that you despised this perfume. I did, but I've changed my mind. And guys, there is no rules in life. You set your own rules. If you want to love someone, then hate this person. It's up to you. If you want to love something, then hate it. It's up to you. Like you don't have to give anyone any account, like how to say. You don't have to explain yourself basically. And yes, so basically this is a gourmand perfume. Very, very sweet. I wish the patchouli was uh, a little bit, um, I don't really like patchouli, honestly. So uh, I wish it would be less strong. And I am uh, at the moment searching what could I mix it with to make it less patchouli but I still enjoy wearing it, but I want to find something that I could layer it with. So yeah, this is Angel and it's really, really strong. It kind, it's kind of like almost a masculine gourmand. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but yeah, that's all I have to say for Angel. Okay, <laughs> my collection is uh, quite large considering uh, that Thierry Mugler do not release that many perfumes. Then I'm gonna go into Aura. So I really, really like Aura from Thierry Mugler. The first time I sprayed it, I literally hated it. Like I hated it, it gave me a headache instantly. Then you know the little pieces of paper that uh, people, psh, psh, 
in the stores. I was uh, I had that in my bedside bedside table, and every time I was opening my bedside table, once the perfume has like settled down, uh, I started being like, oh my god, this smells good. I feel like with Thierry Miguel, you have to um, take your time to accommodate yourself to his fragrances because they're all quite bold. It's not something boring, you know what I mean? So this is a vanilla perfume that is not too sweet in my opinion. And it has like very strong green notes, like it literally smells like uh, when you cut the grass to me and vanilla, which is very original together. I tried the Eau Sensuelle version uh, in shops. Look, I tried it only once. I was not amazed by it as I am amazed by that. But if you want a toned down version of... I got lost here. Of Aura, I would definitely go check out the Aura Eau Sensuelle version. Then... What do I have not in the same family? Okay, Womanity. So also Womanity in the beginning I didn't like it, now I like it. It's really one of those things and I feel like Thierry Mugler also smells better once you let it on your skin. I'm just thinking about the fact that Thierry Mugler seriously should sponsor my videos because I talk about Thierry Mugler the most as a perfume brand because it's by far my favorite perfume brand. So yeah, Thierry Mugler, please sponsor me. Put me in your ad, I would absolutely love it. So this is again a very strange combination of a sweet and sour perfume. It's kind of like beachy. Um, I wouldn't say it's extremely sweet, unlike most perfumes that uh, are popular now like Black Opium by YSL and etc. It has a note of fig and um, caviar, so it's kind of like has a sea vibe to it, like almost fish but on the limit like on the limit like where fish doesn't stink you know what i mean and uh thick which i really like so yeah again very original i would say that um about the lasting power uh, of the Thierry Miglers, as far as it goes for me all the eau de parfum ones smell quite good uh i mean very long i'm just gonna all of the ones I mentioned up to now are really long-lasting anyway. Okay, so uh, then I have uh, Alien Oud. It's literally like Alien from Terry Migler, which is a jasmine amber perfume mixed with Oud. And then I have uh, Alien Mask, which is exactly the same that I just described here, but with Mask. I feel maybe this one is more masculine than the Oud one. Uh, a lot, quite a lot of you actually asked me, which one should you get? By the way, all the perfumes will be linked in the down bar below, so have a look. I'm always trying to find the best prices for you on Amazon by serious sellers. Uh, I would say if it's if you prefer mask, go for the mask one. If you prefer oud, go for the oud one. As easy as that. It's getting dangerous now. Okay, I nailed it. So then I have the original alien. The original Alien is a very obnoxious perfume. Um, it smells of amber, it smells of jasmine, but the first note of it is jasmine. It's a little bit sweet, not too sweet. I really like it, it's just great. It's really out there. I don't know anything that smells even similar to it. It's like really kind of out there. It's really, really loud. Unfortunately, as I said it probably a million times, if I look bored in this video, I'm not bored. It's just that I went through my Thierry Mugler collection and I was like, oh my god, I actually have loads of Thierry, new Thierry Mugler, so why not share with my audience as I have a lot of Thierry Mugler lovers here. Okay, so this is unfortunately too worn, too many people wear it and yeah, it's annoying me a little bit, but what can I do? Can I just mention a negative thing about Thierry Mugler? The alien bottles, the ones that are like this, uh, I don't know if it happens to you, but they clog up. After a while, if you don't use it all the time, it gets stuck, like here, it gets stuck because of the oils or whatever, especially the Essence Absolute version, which I'm gonna purchase this winter, but yeah. For now, I'm gonna slow down a little bit on purchasing perfumes because literally, I have so many that I don't know which one to put on. 
this was a little bit like bragging but yeah whatever seriously like guys you should not give a shit about what people think about you so yeah then i have uh, the latest version of alien if i'm not mistaken it is alien fusion so this is basically a very solar version of alien what i really like about this is that usually for summer a uh, Terry Mugler come out with alien um, flankers that uh, are usually eau de toilette and this is an eau de parfum one. It's really really solar. I don't know how to explain it to you. Yes, it's a lot lighter, more solar. This is does not have as good of a lasting power as the original. To me the original alien has the best lasting power of all the flankers. So then I have this one that the packaging is just like, come on guys, look at that. It's not very clean, but I mean it's mirrored and you have Terry Miller here written. So this is um, Miroir de Majesté and it was released in 2014. I got it uh, on a uh, perfume online store and I really blind bought it. I'm wearing it today, by the way. It has a really vintage vibe, like what I mean by vintage vibe, I mean like uh, Chanel number no. 5 or so. I don't have anything similar in my collection. Like, yeah, literally a vintage vibe. And it is an oriental perfume and it has some oud nose. It, I would say it's definitely more mature, but as I don't have anything in my collection, it's kind of like more of my kind of uh, Chanel number no. 5 vibe perfume. So, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna put this because I don't, I don't fancy throwing a mirror on my bed. Like, seriously, nope. Then I have this. It's Alien Souffle d'Or Breath of Gold. It's just a powder. I don't remember where I got this, actually. So you unlock it and it smells like alien, obviously. And it's just like a powder that has glitter. Like basically a body highlighter. Eh? And I really, really like it. I, it's just like, you know, there is so many steps um, getting ready. Makeup, hair, outfit, uh, pack my bag. That seriously, I'm not too sure when I have time to add on top a body powder with glitter like but i have it and i'm happy i have it so yeah then i have the lotion i do use it uh the alien lotion it is good it has glitter in it it's like shiny i'm gonna show you it does have like tiny specks of glitter nothing really particular uh, keep in mind that if you put uh, this before you put your alien perfume on, it's gonna smell longer and um, yeah, it's, it's just good, you know, to have like matching products. But I would have, if I'm honest, I would have never bought this by myself. It's just because it was in a gift set, so yeah. Then I also got these two little ones. This is Angel Muse, yes, and this is Aura, like mini ones for my bag and they're just so cute, I love them. Okay, I want to finish by uh, conclusion. So as I told you, I um, as far as I know, like the only kind of mainstream uh, cr crowd pleasing Thierry Miglers to me are the eau de toilettes of the flankers of the original ones. All of these are really perfumes that are out there. I would not blind buy anything. I feel like the one that could be the most likable is Alien then Angel Muse, then Angel, then I would say it would be Aura, then I would say it would be Humanity. Like, I mean, from the ori original ones from Terry Mugler. But I like them all, but I really have to be in the mood for each one of them, which I think it's quite nice. I don't want the perfume I just spray on every day and don't think about it. I like the fact that I smell different. And usually, even like some of my friends, I show them for example, Aura, one of my friends told me she really hated the scent, but uh, I went uh, out with her and she told me, oh my God, you actually smell great. And when I said it was Aura, she was really surprised. I really feel like these perfumes connect with you. And um, 
I feel like sometimes fragrance brands just release perfumes to be crowd-pleasing, boring, and I feel like here they're really taking risks, which is really appreciated by someone like me. <laughs> okay, guys, look, I would absolutely love it if you would like this video. Tell me what is your favorite Sierra Miguel fragrance in the down bar below. Tell me if you're gonna purchase any. Like my video, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.